Hey guys, Ethan Eigenfeld here, and today we are going to be editing this portrait and turning it into this portrait in one simple step. Now, I took this photo of my friend a while back. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video where I actually go out on the street with a model or something, one of my friends, do some portraits, and I'll let you guys know how you can take some good portraits, how you can edit them, skin tones, colors, lighting, artificial lighting, as well as um, post-production lighting, um, all that good stuff. So if you're thinking about um, that, if you want if you want me to do that, please let me know so I can make that for you. I've had a lot of people asking me about color in Photoshop. Color is so important, guys. People literally build their Instagrams all around color because color can change the mood of a feel like there's no tomorrow. Um, so there is a guy I want to pull up here on Instagram. Um, his name is Mark Singerman. Um, he uses color really effectively, as you can tell here. Um, all his photos are super heavily saturated. Um, and that's just, that's just his look, right? He builds his entire brand off of this color. And a lot of people have been asking me, well, how do you get this color? How do you make the colors pop? And I respond by saying, I don't know, ask him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, everyone has their own techniques, of course. Um, but I'm going to give you guys something super simple. Oh, look at the skin on that. I find his skin is a little, like, too soft for my liking. Like, that's obviously fake. It looks like a little Barbie doll. But yeah, Mark Singerman, super talented guy. I would recommend following him if you're into portraits. But let's get right into this, guys. Um... So, five minutes, guys, not even. Um, I have been mentioning this tool, Camera Raw Filter. It will save all your problems super quickly. It is your best friend. So, with this photo that I'm gonna take, super basic photo, it's got like two colors in it, green and the red slash yellow of his skin tone. So we have our photo here and we can right click on filter or just regular click on filter and then uh, camera raw filter. So for those of you who don't know what raw is, uh, raw is a file format that your camera creates every time you take a photo. It creates a JPEG photo as well as a raw photo. Uh, on your phone, it only creates JPEG photos because raw is a very heavy, large, detailed photo. It's like, um, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's like an empty house. An empty house is a JPEG photo, and a filled house with lots of furniture and stuff is the raw photo. It's got lots of contents that can be fiddled and touched and changed, versus the empty house, you can't really change a lot about it. Um, so with this camera raw filter, we have the ability to change the photo drastically. Um, cause the photo, it's got all the furniture inside of it and knows where everything is. It can change everything super easily. Um, so you can see we have all the tool, tools here at our liking. So the first thing I do with all my photos is brighten up the exposure cause you don't like dark photos unless you're going through a, for a dark moody theme, of course. Um, add a bit of contrast because Every photo you take will have kind of a flat tone to it. Um, depending on the photo, boost highlights, I it, it's, it's difficult with this because his skin is looking like it's uh, blown out, or it will be, but you have whites to affect that as well. So you can pull down the whites if you wanted. Um, and then shadows, um, that just affects the shadows. Obviously, I like to have a dark point as well as a bright point in my photo, so I can turn that down to make a dark point and then just turn this down to make a dark point as well. I also, I like to add some clarity because that just adds more oomph to the photo. Some people like that blurry effect to the photo. That's cool too, more power to you, bro. Um, and then there's also the vibrance. With uh, my camera, it takes down the vibrance and the clarity, I believe, every time I take a photo. So I have to turn up the clarity and the vibrance every time. But depending on your photo, guys, you know, turn it up and down at your will. Um, so you can already see we have a lot more color, like already. Like, look at that. It's like so much better. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> if you want to get that yellow look, 
super simple. Once I found this tool, all my problems went away. It just takes a lot of practice because I can tell you the first photo I ever edited using, the, using this tool was trash. It was terrible. I can, nah, I won't even try and find uh, Okay, I'll try and find it. Um, oh, by the way, Instagram just screwed up my account. Uh, I log into my account this morning to find out 50% of my posts were deleted. No joke. 50% of my posts. I used to have a thousand posts and now I have 400 and like 92 or something like that. Um, I don't know what's up. I don't think I was hacked for one because uh, I didn't get any security alerts, but it's fine. I hope Instagram can deal with it. If not, that's fine too. I'm a chill guy. Like I can, I'm just going to re-upload the photos. Um, so yeah. Anyways, this is the first photo I used this effect on. It's really weird in my opinion. Her skin's really orange. The trees are way too orange. The sky's way too blue. Uh, it, it's it's awkward in my in my opinion. You know, I don't think the trees would ever be that color. And I would like to make the colors realistic. It's important to make your colors look realistic. Well, look to the eye with C, but also enhance that. So a, a, this. Trees would never be this orange and this bright, okay? You can make the trees a little more bright than the eye can see or a little more vibrant than the eyes can see, but not both. That's just way too unrealistic, if that makes sense. Um, so with this, let me just close that. So with this, what we can do, we can add a little bit of orange in there because we're going for that orange look. And then go just one, two, three over to our hue and saturation. Now with the hue and saturation tools, you have the, you're God, you are literally God, you're not literally God, but you can change any color in the photo that you want. And I find this hue and saturation works a lot better than the hue and saturation tools down here. They're different, trust me. Um, so you can go on the hue and saturation here and you can toggle with the greens. Now you can see you can make the greens cyan or like a bluey kind of color. Or if you turn them to the other side of the spectrum, you get that orange effect to it. Or that, um, you know, that orange kind of yellow color to it. Uh, and most of the time, skin tones are red. So you can change, yeah, you can see his, his reds in his face are changing. Um, okay, in this case, his face is orange. Red and orange really blend together to make skin tones. Um, and so if his skin blends too much with the leaves, in this case, like that's the color of the leaves and that's the color of his skin. Uh, just turn it in the other direction and match it towards the, the red side so you bring back color in his face, but not too much. You don't want him looking like a tomato. That's important. <laughs> um, and you don't want to see, you can see that there's um, some lines here. With color, often the pixels have a tough time blending. That's something I've learned over time because the pixels either are one color or another and they have a trouble time, they have trouble like gradient, like you know what a gradient is, it, it, the colors fade. Um, most of the time the colors have trouble fading from one color to another. Don't ask me why, I'm not, don't ask me why, they just do. So when you really take a color, put it to one end of the spectrum or, or the other, sometimes, if not most of the time, you see this line where it's either one color or the other color, and it looks bad. You wanna find that sweet spot where it looks soft. So in this case, you can't tell where the line starts and where the line ends, okay? Um, you can also change the saturation for each uh, tool here, bring back some, some of the skin color again, like add some hue or some saturation, sorry, and then like the color in here. So uh, from the example I provided earlier, when I was that age, 14 or whatever, I probably would have done something like that and been like, bravo, great. Leaves don't look that color at all. So I would never do that now. Um, leaves are a lot more faded, um, something like that. Uh, and his skin's looking a little too red. So I'm gonna pull that back here. Um, so yeah, leaves, just they're not that vibrant so i would never do that even something, something like that looks really good um but this is all about color guys so we're just gonna boost the color up like there even though i prefer something like that that's fine color guys it's all about color if you want color in your feed do something like this and the final thing you can do is luminance 
Luminance, for me, has been proven to be very, very effective. <laughs> effective. Um, what this does is that it individually affects each color, just like the saturation in hue, but it brightens up those pixels. So, this is useful because, like I said before, the reds and the oranges are skin tones, and if your face isn't lit properly, this tool can lighten that up. So, we know that his skin is orange, so if we lighten that up, boom, his face is l like lit now. Um, well, you wouldn't obviously do it this dramatically, but you can lighten up his face so it looks good. Now, in my paint, that looks like he really pale, so I wouldn't do that. You can bring it down. It ha it's the same thing, right? Um, so, I do that sometimes. I often bring up my um, oranges to make it look more uh, lit and soft, and you can do the same thing with the reds if you wanted to. And then with the greens too, because we know the greens are the leaves, so you can do that. Um, I'm not gonna touch them. Uh, uh, and then yeah, basically with those steps, you can get your look you wanted, you want to. Uh, you can also go just before the hue right here, and then you can change sharpening. Um, you know, you can turn up the, the amount. I uh, it, it just sharpens up all your photos basically which is not a bad idea. I generally stay away from the curves in the raw filter. I haven't really gotten into that yet myself because the curves adjustments outside of the camera raw filter is really good and I like to stick in that and I like to just play around with that more. Um, so yeah, we can just press okay and then boom, you've got your photo here looking good, looking hot, looking nice. Um, if you want to see how I took this photo, where I went to take it, how I positioned it, all that good stuff, please let me know because this is a series, guys, and I'm running out of ideas. No, I'm just kidding. The, the series just started, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm just really interested in this, guys, and I just like making videos. Um, and hopefully, one day soon, I can start putting out uh, content for you to buy on uh, portraits and photography. Uh, this wouldn't be the audience for that, but I have an ebook out right now for Photoshop uh, compositing right now because compositing is what my Instagram is all about. This is not a plug, if you're wondering. I'm just, we're on the topic. So, just how to do stuff like this. I have an ebook on that right now. If you want to check that out, I'll just link it. You don't have to click it, it's fine. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you for watching the video so much. If you want to learn, how to market these photos, how to gain a, like a social following, how to um, get followers, people to buy your products and stuff like that. I'm building a series on the business side of things. If you wanna check that out, go ahead. And if you're into filmmaking, which uh, it, sometimes it goes hand in hand, portrait photographers, photographers, filmmakers, sometimes they're on the same uh, basis. I have a series on that as well. So three series, filmmaking, business, photography. If you like this, please leave a like, Tell me what you thought, and I will see you guys all later.